This is my pond, how huh? one acre to eight by 11. <laughs> Little different. Well, you know what I like about this, Greg, is it's- A typical yard. It's a typical yard, right? Yeah. And, and it's not a pond that's overwhelming. It's fit in this scale with the property. I know you would, both of us would love to see- Of course. All this other stuff, but I think this proves that anybody can have a pond, mm -hmm. and a pond will fit anywhere. So what are we doing, Brian? So right now, Corey's getting these prepped and ready to drop in some of your lights. So we're gonna drill these out and actually get a light sitting inside of that. Right now we're setting the top of this based off of what we want the patio to sit at. Is that annoying to you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here comes the fire rock. The new for 2021. I think the color looks really good. And we have fire. Look at all this stuff. Check out that beech tree. Freaking awesome. I think that man's happy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Okay, <laughs> this is my pond, huh? One acre to eight by 11. <laughs> a little different. Well, you know what I like about this, Greg, is it's a typical yard. It's a typical yard, right? Yeah. And, and it's not a pond that's overwhelming. It's fit in this scale with the property. I know you would, both of us would love to see. Of course. All this other stuff, but I think this proves that anybody can have a pond, mm -hmm. and a pond will fit anywhere. Amen. So we've marked out the pond. And there's the first scoops digging. out, yep. I think the one thing everybody that's yeah. watching this is gonna say, yeah. I wish I had a crew of 20 guys. <laughs> 20 experienced guys. Very good, so this is the entire pond right here. So we're pulling out the stack slate walls that are gonna go in there and make the formal edge right here with the bluestone patio on it. All right, liner going in. Okay, two hours after we break ground, we're putting the liner in. So what are we doing, Brian? So right now, Corey's getting these prepped and ready to drop in some of your lights. So we're gonna drill these out and actually get a light sitting inside of that. Brian, tell me what you're working on. So right now we're setting the top of this based off of what we want the patio to sit at. Because we've got some span here, we've got a little bit of a pitch. Is that annoying to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we need this sit, to set um, above water level too. So we've already set the skimmer, which sets our water level for everything. Now we just want to make sure that this, is, this back edge is higher than our water level. So we've set this two and a half inches higher than water level over here. Are the pavers out front? Yeah, they're here. I, I want to see them. That is trust when you trust your guy enough. Pick out your own pavers. Painting wall, oh no, here they are, right here. That looks great. That's gonna really look good with the blue stone. Got the wall going in. I love the blue stone, Chris. It's hard, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's heavy. It's hard to match the seams, the angles. Mm -hmm. comes the fire rock the new for 2021 i think the color looks really good and we have fire to you i think that was an interesting day yesterday. I'm sorry I didn't recap last night, but it was a little dark. And the mood was a little, um, I don't know, we felt accomplished, but we were freezing. It was uh, snowing through most of the day yesterday. We finished up around five o'clock. It was just cold. 
and then we had dinner and then kind of went back at it for a little bit but i'm happy with our progress today should actually be a much bigger transformation day we'll get the pond running get everything plumbed and ready uh, base material for the patio is going down and more importantly a lot of plants are coming so we'll get all of that stuff in and we'll get going let me just kind of turn this camera around though really quick and show you where we're at hey and before i do that big thanks to all the cac's and everybody coming together and sticking through it yesterday it would have been really really difficult by myself <laughs> so here we are fire's going i'll give you that view from up here which is the view that really counts so when we're sitting over here we can still see the waterfall kind of through there i would actually maybe switch these out to those glass railings which would be cool i think it looks really good it also helps these two tie in with these slate walls that are here so now we got george's crew over here getting ready to get the patio in they're gonna start dumping uh, base material Plants are here. I knew it was gonna start coming together. Look at all this stuff. Check out that beech tree. Freaking awesome. Wow, this is gorgeous. That's a big beech. Yeah. Yeah, some nice stuff. Oh. This is that lavender twist weeping redbud, which is a super, super cool tree. Yeah. All right, Brian, see what we created. <laughs> Nice. Looks about the even flow right there. Yeah. Running dry. <laughs> so the skimmer is running dry. There we go. And there's a the waterfall. Listen to that sound. Hey guys, good work. I love it. Hey, give yourself a hey. I think that man's happy. <laughs> so I think that's what it's all about. You know, that collaboration nation, huge group of CACs all came together, built something pretty incredible in a two day period. Now we should the patio area, right? Built something pretty incredible in a two day period, despite all the adversity. I mean, we had snow this morning, we had snow all day yesterday, lots of rain, tight, tight access. Had to build a retaining wall, had to build custom stone, the stack slate walls inside. We got a patio going in. This thing is gonna be awesome year after year after year. And what I love most about it, besides the fact that everybody came together to build something so incredible, is this is extremely replicatable. This is a huge change for Greg compared to his one acre pond at his old house. But this is a pond anybody can fit in their backyard. And that's my favorite part. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what your favorite part is. You know the routine. Hit like, hit subscribe, tell all your friends. And we'll keep doing this. Till then, bye. Here I show the different patterns changing in the pond with the lights. Ta-da! And just like that, after 38 years of living with an aquascape water feature and two weeks without, 
The guys came and in two days created this paradise back here for me. It's great to have friends. I've always said a build a pond day is like an old fashioned Amish barn raising where we come together, we ply our craft, we eat good food and we have a lot of fun. So really appreciative to all the certified aquascape contractors. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm loving this new smart app that I get to control my lights on and my fountains on. It's not a big pond. It's not like what I left, but it is a beautiful pond. And I just have a lot of appreciation for the guys that work so hard and then of course I just love Brian's design you know he is the best and I knew he would have a great idea and I trust him fully so this is a cool vlog to end with because the next vlog is going to be one of the most unique vlogs the team aquascape channel has ever done because it's going to be an introduction on how to become a certified aquascape contractor I have been excited all summer long as my team has uh, prepared for the post coronavirus training that aquascape is going to be doing so if you know anybody who is looking for this as a career if you you yourself are looking at this as a career. We need all the certified aquascape contractors uh, that we can get anywhere in the world. And our new training is allowing you to go from anywhere in the world to learn how to do aquascape ecosystem water features. I don't know why everybody wouldn't want this in their yard. It's a spectacular addition. What's so fun for me is being able to turn my hobby into a profession and I want to get more people living the aquascape lifestyle. I want to get more people building water features and I want more certified aquascape contractor friends that are customers who I've been able to call friends because they truly are. I appreciate my guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and trust me I'm gonna be posting a lot more on Instagram a lot more on Facebook and a lot more on YouTube of how I'm living the aquascape lifestyle I love my job <laughs>